Okay. Man, I just came back from church. The, was it Apostolic Church we went to, baby? Yes, I'm. She's always upset. Why? Wow, you I don't now. go. Yeah, baby, it's all right. It was a nice service. When it, when it, it was also it was part of a. I gotta pour me a drink after all of that. I'm telling you, these church people, Lord, it be these church people drive me to drinking. You know, actually, we didn't. Ha I didn't have to go through the sacraments there because uh, you know it's only church members they give the you know the body and the blood. And, you know. Christ and all that stuff. Anyway, so uh, so somebody being confirmed did that. Well, I used to teach out here, Unza Monkley, one of my things here. Anyway, oh. Oh. not very good wine. Actually, it tastes like that church wine that you get. Oh, oh here we go. So, she said I'm dressed, I had to throw a jacket. You know, here's the thing. Here's one of the things. One of, I realized I really don't like to go to Christian. One of the things that was said by my um, spiritual advisor is basically that I'm not, I'm supposed to wear uh, a cover on my head all the time. You know, so if you go to a Christian church, for instance, they insist that you take the men take their covers off, which means that they're receptive to all the you know whatever spirits come down. The women cover their head for a number of reasons. But I'm not really into that. You know, so I avoid them. In fact, sitting there, I wanted to give a. <laughs> I want to give a sermon. My sermon is, are you a Biblican or are you a, a Christian? Actually, I should be more specific. When people ask me, or I have been asked about Christianity, and I say, look, if I was going to be, I'm not a Christian, but if I was going to be a Christian, I'd be a red letter Christian. What's a red letter Christian? There used to be these things, I, don't know if they still, I guess they still have it, the red letter edition of the Bible. What that means is that in the New Testament, they have in red all the things that Jesus supposedly has said, that people, you know, after 300 years, whatever, they wrote down what he said, and this is what he supposedly said. So if I was going to be a Christian, there's three realities, right? You can go to the Old Testament, which is the law, you can go to the New Testament, which is the love, or you can go to red, you can go to red letter edition, which is the Christ, you know, or Jesus the Christ's interpretation of the, of the love. I put it that way. Those three realities. I know your Christians don't deal with that, but that's what it is. But that's the thing. You know what I mean? I don't want to know what I don't know what the what the people before Jesus. If you're a Christian, if you're, you're a Christian, a follower of Christ means that well, I'm not going to say, you'll figure that out yourself. Look. But I was the thinking. I got this is a bandana that uh that's mine that I I, I lent my wife hold this bandana. Give it to me, gave it to me years ago. <laughs> it's, from, it's from the it's from the dance club. This first story <laughs> in New York called the Shelter House. It's a, it's a direct descendant of um. It's a direct descendant of uh. Of like you know the paradise. Well, you know, see, the paradise garage came from like basically the the the, the loft and gallery, and then kind of pa paradise garage and um, paradise garage. Was, then it was just Larry Levan, whatever have you. Uh, Timmy Registford uh, um, uh, studied under, well, hang out with with the paradise garage under under, under Larry Levan, and he went and started a club called Shelter. So Timmy Registford is the the thing that I know. One of my claims to fame is that. I, I did a, a, a documentary on the shelter one time, right there in the middle of the dance floor. It was an amazing documentary, it was like an hour. It was a hit, anyway. But the thing about it is that Timmy Registered never would talk. He wouldn't talk. And I got him in this documentary. It was, this, it was an audio documentary. I got him to talk. And people were astounded. They said, whoa, Timmy talk. He's about, you know, he's, but one of the things he said, he said he wanted to create a club where, you know, where, where they can bring all the elements in. So in other words, like, if it was, they wanted to bring water in, they can rain, you can rain on it, da 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 and that would happen in the club or whatever. It's a great idea. I guess Timmy will go with that. All right, so that's it, the shelter. Oh, let me leave that for a second. In fact, the, the, the closest I ever felt as, as a spiritual thing, not the closest, closest, but one of the closest times, was I was on the dance floor at the shelter, I actually felt lifted, like I was amazingly like just lifted I know levitation is not uh, what can I tell you I felt lifted and I really whew. shelter was my church basically every Saturday night into Sunday church all day Sunday you know but the thing I, looking at this church service I realized you know it's come from that, that whole colonial missionary thing where you know that the, 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 the big people on the stage you know like that you have the congregation there the only different the big difference between um, um, what I can see here, at least, with the Christianity that we have here, and like like 
back in the States, is that there is no, there was no really choir, even though tomorrow they have this big thing with 14 choirs that come from all of from Seymour and, and from Bedford and Adelaide and from all over, all the villages, all the towns, all over, they come into Alice, they have this big like uh, choir off, you know, so they have choirs. But in this church, they have the thing, and then basically the congregation is the choir. They always sing every time, and then it's, it's quite lovely. Anyway, I have nothing against congregations, but congregation is good. One of my things about ADOS is very simple. It's like, it's, it's, church is nothing but groupings of people with, with, with like things. And also, for religion, you know, you have to sort of have to have some sort of shock troops, you know, whatever. So, church is different than religion. I won't get into it. The point is, it's, 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 church is just a grouping of people, you know. So, ADOS, in a, in a, in a way, will have a big church service when the inaugural thing comes around in, in October. So, hey, that's going to be wonderful. So anyway, so I'm thinking, that, so they have the, 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 the dignitaries on the thing, and then you have the rows of people like that. And that's a total European, a total missionary whatever concept. Of, I feel kind of strange with this jacket. You know, on TV, they used to have the thing where you sit on the back of your jacket so that the thing doesn't bunch up in the back. It's a whole thing about medium TV. Anyway. Um, so, so I was thinking, man, you know, and before then, what, 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 what did most autochthonous groups have? They, they would sat in circles. So you could see everybody. There was no really high up or whatever have you, you know what I'm saying? So in this, it's always this authoritarian, and then there's all the men on the stage. It's a whole patriarchy thing. I'm not, okay, let me leave that alone. So, so it was, it was kind of interesting. I was like, yeah, why can't they just have, uh, what's this hierarchy? Why does somebody's more important than somebody else? No, man. You know, circle, everybody can see everybody. Everybody's at the same level. That's what I like about Tabernacle, you know. When I was going in, they said, oh, you have to take off your hat. I said, I, I know I've been a lot of places all over. I, I, I can see what everybody's doing. Uh, the best thing when you travel someplace, see what people are doing. Instead of you coming with your own thing, just try to imitate them as much as you can, you know. Anyway, so I had to take off my crown, you know, which is basically the Yoruba religion, or the Yoruba culture. They say that I shouldn't take off my crown because it protects me, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I, I, the point is, so I took my crown off, no problem, put it in my pocket, you know. But the thing is, you know, if you take a crown off, you're susceptible to their... I, I went through that again, so let me just back up. Maybe it's the wine. Okay. So I'm just thinking, you know, this whole hierarchy, this whole, you know, thing, it doesn't serve uh, our sensibilities well. But back to ADOS and church. So it's just a grouping. So we're, we're, it's a grouping. That's what it is. And everybody in a grouping, you know, you have your specialty, and, and that's how you come. You come together for that mentality, for that purpose of, 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 of African people coming together. So in, in, in our sense with ADOS, it would be American descendants of child slavery coming together. You know, so we have to, I think we should, uh, I don't think anything. Well, we'll, it'll happen the way it's supposed to happen. So anyway, so that was my church for this morning. Uh, but, you know, my church is, um, uh, I mean, it's lifestyles or whatever have you. And, and the other thing, well, let me say one more thing about this, um, uh, well, let's call it egalitarian. You no, know, everybody's sort of almost equal. You no, know, reason I love uh, uh, Capoeira Angola so much because and Jao Grande and I, I think everybody wore the same thing. There was no, uh, there's no different belts. There's no different. You, you couldn't tell when you saw a class was in some somewhat of a circle because you have the bandera, you know, the the, the band, you know, uh, that controls the Capoeira controls the game, but then the people are sort of in a circle around there. Then the, the master, uh, uh, master, uh, Grande, master Jean Grande, he would just pick two people just come in and, and play the game. And so nobody would know. And everybody's dressed the same thing. So you don't know who's high or who's low. There's no there's no black belt, purple belt, whatever, different kind of belts. So there's no, and it's and that's the way it should be. But we, we're bought into the society. We're bought into this hierarchy. And the same thing, you know, when I think of ADOS, my thing right now is like, like you know, everybody has their thoughts, and 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 and, and uh, Miss Yvette and and Attorney Moore and and, and you know, Attorney Moore are the let's call them the spokesperson, the the the, the, the spokespeople for Sandidarity has this information. We should have our troops, you know. In fact, let me go off and say this: there's a, there's a crucial mistake I think that uh, Yvette is making, and I guess this is the spirit is leading me to say this, and it's this. I, in fact, the same thing happened uh, with, with uh, I won't mention them together because it'll mess you up. And that is, I think she really needs to stop going at people. Just let them go at you where well, there's enough people in the movement that they can go at them. So in other words, they're, they're, I, I saw one of Boyce Barker really went crazy on, on, on Yvette or whatever. And of course, you have the whole Talib quality thing. And, and I think I just saw Antonio 
and if it, uh, try to address the stuff, I can re listen to the whole thing. But the thing is, leave that alone. Let us let 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 the ADOS troops deal with that. You just keep on going on your high road. Don't have to say anything about it. In fact, what you can just say, uh, you want to know what we're doing? Come um, get your tickets for October. Come in October. We, we, we don't you don't don't answer anybody. Stop going after the. Uh, uh, um, whether the breakfast stuff, all of stuff, talking about those people, talking to, specifically to Antonio and and um, and, and Yvette. Don't do that. Just do, you have other things to do. Leave it because they just knock you off your game, and you don't have to do it. There's a lot more people that could get your back that'll go at them. You don't have to do it at all. So please, leave. Yvette, Antonio, listen to me. Do what you need to do. But leave, don't answer the people. They say something, you say something, they say something, and then you're in this spiral of answering this back for everybody. And everybody wants to see a fight. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, they're fighting. Leave them alone. You think Jesus wasn't around fighting nobody? Jesus was doing the thing. They were listening. He kept on going until they got him, of course. But the point is, that's the way it is. Anyway, that's it for me. T, from the Pattersons taking the trenches a bit, coming from church, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS. American, that's us, descendants of chattel slavery.